Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about bubble wrap. An easy way to create an Android application from your progressive web apps using trusted web activities. So first off we need a progressive web app and I have one of those. There's stuff to buy. It's a little site where you put in links to things you want to buy and it will keep track of those for you. And I want to create an Android application from this using tr trusted web activities. And to start this off, we need a command line prompt. So we jump over to it here and I will follow a guide and you can find that down in the description below for bubble wrap. The first thing we need to do is actually install it. So this will install the MPN package for bubble wrap. And in order to get this to work, you need node version 10 or above. I had node version eight, so I had to install 12, which is the latest LTS release. And when I, after I've done that, I actually need, needed to upgrade all the packages or update all the packages uh, because I installed bubble wrap and it told me you have an older version of your system, you need to actually update it to the latest version in order to get it to work with bubble wrap. So I had to do an update of all my packages in order to get it to work. When you have it installed, you want to initialize it using the init command and point out your manifest file. And this command here will initialize it for me. I use the command uh, of bubble wrap, which is in my roaming npm uh, map in Windows and for your system you might find it somewhere else but when you install things in Windows you will get it under users your username app data roaming npm and there you have your commands so I will run bubble wrap from that I use init and then the manifest file for stuff to buy manifest json that will create a new application for me but it will ask me a few questions in order to get it running. First off, it will ask me for the domain, stufftobay.app, sounds just fine. I wanted to use the URL path of slash, so that's just fine too. The application name, I don't want to change that, so I want to use stuff to buy, and I can have the same short name. And then I need an application ID, let's say org EA um, bubble, uh, wrap stuff to buy so we have something and I want it to be full screen and I want to keep my colors I want to keep the colors of the splash screen I want to keep my icon I want to use my maskable icons I haven't actually added any monochrome icons so I skipped that and then it will ask me for where I want to save the key for my Android application. And this key will be used to sign your application. So find somewhere safe to put this file. I will just uh, put it in my uh, standard <laughs> um, directory at the moment in the same directory because I will not deploy this application. So I put it there. Uh, the key name, it can use the same name there. And then it asks me if I want to create it because it hasn't, it isn't there at the moment. So I will create that. I will fill out my name here. And when I've done that, I need to fill out some organization uh, unit. Could either be develop depth, for instance, or your your company or something. I just say NA here, company name. Yeah, could be whatever. Use my name again. And then SE for Sweden, you use your letters for your country. And then we need a password for the key store. I will just use something simple here. Um, something like that. And then a password for the actual key. And that will give you a key file and set up your project. So if we look in this directory, you see here that we have Gradle files, we have the application setup and so on. 
if you haven't run bubble wrap before, it will also ask you for where is your JDK path. So it will give it the JDK path. And it will also ask you for where is your Android SDK installed. So you will give it that path as well. So this is the second time I run this uh, tutorial. So I didn't get those questions, but that is something that will be asked as well as a setup for the bubble wrap software. Next up, we just need to run bubble wrap build in order to create our application. And this will ask me for the key store password. So I will give that and it also asks for the key store key uh, password and then it will build my Android app. And this should not take that long because it's a standard application that will use a web uh, storefront in order to show your progressive web app in an APK. So much of it is already built. And with bubble wrap, when we run this application, it will actually run a lighthouse score for you to see what kind of performance you have, how your PVA checks out and so on. And I got a, a performance score of 99, but the PVA check did not, did fail for some reason. Uh, I have run the application in Chrome lighthouse and the PVA did not. Uh, fail there, so I don't really know what the problem is here, but you will get this kind of uh, report, but the application will be built. So if we look here in our directory, we have an app release signed APK. So that's the, our signed APK already done for us. We can push that up to Google Play and have an application ready. We also have an app release unsigned aligned APK that we can look for how different files and so on in order to do some uh, checks of the application and see if th files haven't been optimized well enough. And another thing that we need to look into is the file called asset links that we have here. So if we cat asset links here, we see that this will have both the name and the package name and also some fingerprint for this application. If I take this assets link JSON and put that up on the site, the stuff to buy site, that means that the stuff to buy site can start this application from the site. So if you visit the site on Android and have the application installed, the Android phone will ask you, or Android tablet will ask you, do you want to open this in the application instead? So that's a really good link, uh, file to put up on your website and it should be put in the dot well dash known directory. So that's a thing that we need to do as well. I have already done that in order to get this application to work. And then after that, we can do adb install app release sign apk. And that will install the signed apk on my phone. You see here, we got a success. So I have that on my phone. You can now see here my phone where I use this application and start it up. It will be started up in full screen and the application has the site available. So this was what I wanted to cover today. I hope that you found this video interesting. I hope that you learned something today. Perhaps you have a progressive web app that you want an Android application for and want to use this very simple process in order to push your application to the Android cloud. If so, please leave a comment down in the comment section down below. If you uh, have any comments or other suggestions, leave them down there as well. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.